Once I stopped, about 20 years ago, once I stopped using everything that I was taught in graduate school, uh, <laughs> it's honestly, I was on the verge, when I went back to infant mental health, I was on the verge of becoming a florist. I thought, ah, oh, I love flowers, I can just go arrange them and come home at night and feel happy that I did something beautiful instead of witnessing so much suffering. And yeah, about 30% or maybe 50% of the kids I worked with did well better, but there was something big missing. So this is what shifted. Many behaviors signal vulnerability in the autonomic nervous system. And the ability to control one's emotions and behaviors is a neurodevelopmental process. And yet, Children and teenagers are being taught with reinforcement schedules that assume that they have that ability to control their emotions and behaviors. It goes back to the expectation gap that I just talked about. Here's another important concept because you might be thinking, well, you know, I've seen kids do things on purpose and I'm not, I'm not sure I, I buy this. Just because a child can have emotional control some of the time doesn't mean they can have it all of the time because our neurophysiological state shifts in real time. This is so exciting.